You make my point. <laughs> that as long as a white man does it, it's all right. A black man is supposed to have no feelings. <laughs> but when a black man strikes back, he's an extremist. He's supposed to sit passively and have no feelings, be nonviolent, and love his enemy. No matter what kind of attack, be it verbal or otherwise, he's supposed to take it. But if he stands up and in any way tries to defend himself, <laughs> then he's an extremist. <laughs> No, I think that the uh, speaker who preceded me is getting exactly what he asked for. The, uh... <laughs> My reason for believing in extremism, intelligently directed extremism, extremism in defense of liberty, extremism in quest of justice, is because I firmly believe in my heart that the day that the black man takes an uncompromising step and realizes that he's within his rights when his own freedom is being jeopardized to use any means necessary to bring about his freedom or put a halt to that injustice, I don't think he'll be by himself. I live in America where there are only 22 million blacks against probably 160 million whites. One of the reasons that I'm in no way reluctant or hesitant to do whatever is necessary to see that black people do something to protect themselves, I honestly believe that the day that they do, many whites will have more respect for them and that there will be more whites on their side than are now on their side with these little wishy-washy, love thy, love thy enemy uh, approach that they've been using up to now.